Oh, 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 oh. Yes. I want to work with one of you guys to join me on the adventure and join me on many of the trips I go on and everything's like that. So. This video is going to be slightly different, mixing two days into one today and yesterday when I went to Basel for Basel World. So let's kick it off with Basel and then afterwards I have um, quite a big announcement I want to make. What's up? Good morning, it's Seb here. Today, I'm in an underground car park, which is where I spend most of my spare time. Not going to lie to you. Yep. I went to the gym this morning. That's a lie. I did not. It is about 7.30, 8 in the morning. And today I've decided to explore Switzerland a little bit. I've been here for a little while and I haven't really been able to explore any of it. I'm going to take the Porsche Macan to Basel, which is about a three hour drive away. And apparently there's this big watch fest thing going on there. I don't know anything about it, but I like watches. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to head over there, whack the shirt on, because watch the people are posh. Porsche feels appropriate, and we're gonna drive to Basel. That's the plan. Major side note, we have a Ferrari FF here as well. Wish I was taking that, but I'm not. Anywho, ooh, 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 this bad boy. For a GTS, lovely. Give it is, the pad for the day. Camera positioning strong. Basel, this car, a few of you have asked me, how many kilometers does the Macan now have? Because it gets driven back and forth from France to Italy, a fair amount. It now has about 22,000, well, exactly 22,078 kilometers. Why do I always decide to park in the world's tightest car park spot? Do you ever do the same? Where you think this is... This is a great idea. And then when you get back to take your car out, you're like, that was the worst idea. Let's go! Come on, Basel. I'm coming for you. And I have no idea where I'm going or what to expect or what I'm going to be doing. But I'm coming for you. Getting the hang of driving in Geneva, not the easiest thing in the world. It is the strictest thing in the world. I mean, things like if you go over a white line, they will take your driving license. Take it. Not just a fine. Take your driving license. So, I'm learning to become the most civil and law-abiding driver of all time, whilst in Switzerland, uh, which is really good fun. Mm-hmm. Really good fun. Geneva during rush hour is a flipping joke. What's up, Basil? Basil? Basil. Basil, Basil. What, what is it in recent videos of me not being able to say things? Basil is very similar to Geneva. This car, for long journeys oh, is unbelievable. It has these super comfy seats which hold you in quite well, well on the motorway, that's not too important. Really nice, so we got the, this one has the extra leather pack, which means it's got this really soft leather all around the steering wheel and all up here. Just so pleasant to drive. Cruise control on, it doesn't have adaptive cruise control, which is something this car is missing, but cruise control on, you're your sat nav down in your instrument cluster, and you just whew, waft along, great sound system, and that was a really, really nice drive. I mean, about a three hour drive, and I feel completely fresh. Watches, something I like, don't know much about, going into the Basel World Festival, is it festival? It's like, it's like the Geneva Motor Show of watches, is the way I've sort of been looking at it and thinking about it, which means there will be many, many, many watches. But yeah, Porsche, McCann, you nailed it. I mean, not that Porsche don't already know they've nailed it, because this is their, currently top selling car I believe so Porsche here's a fun fact for you in 2016 so 237 well, sorry delivered 237 thousand cars which is insane of which hundred sixty six thousand of those were either Cayennes or McCann's and then 77,000 were came in Panamera 911 sort of all put together so that gives you an idea of just how many of these 4x4s they make. They are more of an SUV maker than anything else now. And that's because they are bloody good at it. The only problem with there being that many on the road means that this is losing value. So maybe worth trading in for a new one or... I don't really know, but it is a shame that it feels so new. But 22 now it's got 22,331 kilometers on it. It's starting to be a fair amount. So if you would like to buy this car, feel free to send me an email. 45 45 minutes after the last clip and I'm now finally in Now it's time to go find Agent Dan my agent who I'm not sure you guys have met yet, but he's here sick That's what I am, but I'm at the uh, I'm at the event now. I'm with agent Dan 
This is Agent Dan, meet Agent Dan. And we are about to walk into the Buzzle World Show. I'm excited to see some of the new connected watches because those things are so, so cool and could work really well for me whilst I'm getting around just to be able to look at my wrist and see what's going on with social media. But I think there's some pretty cool cars in front of me. Let me spin the camera. An old Citroen, I don't know what that is exactly, but what it is is very cool. Oh, 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 yes, get into my life. How does this always happen? I go to a watch show and I managed to find a Ferrari in the rolls. Right, I should probably go see some watches now. It's a party up in here. Not sure what's going on, but hey ho, let's go in. Follow the bag, follow the bag, follow the bag, follow the bag. Ooh, nope, follow the bag. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Look at this. Boom, we got some serious, serious stands going on. Look at the size of this thing. That is absolutely massive. That is a huge building. And then what, let's go look at watches. Watches, connected watches, very cool. And this, it uh, doesn't like me. Right, sick. Hi. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, anyways, very nice. Very, very nice. By the way, I'm not shopping for a new watch, if you're asking. Oh, I like that one. That one's very nice. Zoom, sexy. Right, that's Tag. Tag Hauer right there. I can't believe the size of these things. Apparently this, very sexy. Actually, you know what? I think this, where's my finger? That right there is my favorite watch. Ortavia, very, very nice. Very new, very cool. I love it. Quick little visit then. What we have to do now is I'm actually properly ill, so I need to get some medicine and then we're heading over to a dinner, which should be kind of fun, and then I'm driving back to Geneva. I need to head back to a pharmacy to get some medicine and then to eat some food. There are so many people here right now. I, oh, I know why, they're Agent Dan's fans. This is mildly terrifying. I feel like I'm gonna get wiped out at any point by tram. We made it. Get into my life right now. That's really nice with the brown. I like that. After that, we ended up going to a dinner with Tag Hara and then afterwards, I drove back late at night to Geneva where I just crashed afterwards because I was really not feeling well at all. Massive headache, huge cold, and just coming over it now. So thankfully I'm feeling a lot better. But I wanted to make an announcement because um, something's happened. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of videos with Josh. My good friend Josh has been helping me with a bunch of videos, so he's been helping me with the tiny bit with the editing and also a lot with the filming and with just a bunch of behind the scenes stuff. As a friend, he's been giving me a hand and really, really grateful for it, but Josh has been needing to do things on his own, so go off and do his own work and his own businesses and be with his family and his girlfriend a bit more, so he doesn't have time to spend you know, as much time with me helping me, which he was very kindly doing before and I'll always appreciate. So massive thank you to you, Josh, if you're watching. For a lot of you asking where his Instagram has gone, he deleted his Instagram purely because his Instagram was there to support what we were doing while it was all in the public and we were doing all this car stuff. Now that he's no longer involved in that, he's decided to have a bit more of a private life, which I completely understand. So his Instagram has been deleted. Moving on from that, I am finding it really hard and was finding really hard before Josh was involved to manage different things I'm working on whilst doing YouTube, the whole filming, because when you're doing YouTube, you're in charge of production, lighting, directing, you're acting in whatever you're filming, you're doing post-production and all the ed editing, excuse me, and it just becomes a lot. So yeah, I just didn't feel like I could make the content as good as I wanted it to be by myself, which is why I want to work with one of you guys. So I'm putting this video out there to be able to work with one of you to help me with certain aspects of the whole process of making these videos and to join me on the adventure and join me on many of the trips I go on and everything's like that. So here's what I'm thinking. I've seen many of these YouTubers doing application videos and things like that. It's gonna be a slightly similar approach because I just didn't know where to start. I was like, I know a lot of people and I just don't know who, who would be perfect for what I want them to do. What I'm looking for is simple. It is purely an editor. Someone who can edit my videos to the style that I like. Obviously, that will take some adjustment and we'll learn it together. But someone who's got a huge passion for post-production, who obviously knows quite a bit about cameras, who could help me with some of the camera work from time to time, and setting up the cameras and all of these different aspects. But mainly, who's really good at just editing. Preferably, on Final Cut Pro, because that's what I use, and then we could, you know, if there are certain videos that I need to edit, we could just switch over and that would make it easier. So preferably on Final Cut Pro, but anything else would be all right as well. The idea behind all of this is you guys send in on YouTube or on Instagram mainly videos that you've done to so sort of show reels of work that you've done 
just put Seb Delaney application. So hashtag Seb Delaney application on Instagram or just tag me on YouTube. Just put it up. I will be searching through all of the YouTube videos with that title or send me an email at this email down below. And I'll be going through every single video, and whether it's in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. There's top marks coming up. I would love to have someone by top marks, but that might be a bit too soon. I'm not going to rush it. There is no rush. I will end up picking one of you. You will come down and spend some time with me in Monaco, and we will work at first on videos there where I will go out and film some videos. You'll come with me occasionally, but then mainly I'll bring you back the content and you edit them and we put them online. And we'll see how it goes. I'll have a trial period with the first person, and if that goes well, I will then hire you for a much longer period of time, and we will go on many, many cool adventures together, and it will be really, really good fun. So yeah, I mean, this is a weird feeling, but it's one way I could get you guys involved. I need help, and it's something that a lot of you have been asking me. How can I come on adventures with you? Can I come on one of these drives with you? Well, now this is your opportunity. If you edit, if you're really into editing and cameras, you don't necessarily need to be a massive car guy, I mean obviously to have a little bit of knowledge so that when you're editing you know what to put in and you know what to leave out, but mainly just love filmmaking and I'm going to try and step the quality up with you and we'll be able to work together and just become really really good friends and be able to go on loads of adventures, boys, girls, anyone with a lot of talent, I'm just basically looking for someone who fits my style of editing and video that I would love to produce. So yeah, make your show reels, send them in, uh, as I said, email, YouTube, just put Seb Delaney application, and I will be picking one of you, announcing it as soon as I've made a decision myself. I'll be very open with it. If you follow me on Instagram stories or anything, I'll be watching some of the videos on there and giving my feedback. Mainly, if I could give you any hints into what I would be looking for, it would be just like a short, if you do like a one minute video of different adventures you've been on, and different things you've filmed and just show kind of your editing style, how would you like to do it, you know, the music you use, the color grading you're into and different things like that. I don't really have a preference I can give you right now. I mean, from watching my vlogs, I guess you kind of know what I'm doing. Because we do adventure videos, we'd like it to look, you know, like a high production uh, and very energetic type of video. Obviously, personally, um, it would be cool if you're just easy to get along with, you like going on adventures, you enjoy the spontaneity of traveling wherever, whenever, and being able to go work with different brands and adapting to working in different places and different temperatures. And obviously, you know, when I find a few videos I like, I'll narrow it down, down to a certain list of people and then I'll Skype you, call you, or go see you if you're nearby and finally pick someone later on. But yeah, that's the big announcement I kind of wanted to make is that I am hiring one of you to work with me and I, I can't wait for it to sort of come to life because it's something that I've always wanted to do is be able to bring one of the viewers onto the adventure and sort of join the team and yeah. So I'm gonna be going through all of it on my computer here. But I wanted to let you know that this is happening, this is real and that any one of you, literally any single one of you could be picked for this. So please send in your videos and I really look forward to seeing them. And on that note, I'm going to finish today's video. The Lotus release will be coming next, I believe. So the next videos will be me collecting the Lotus, which is super exciting. And yeah, I look forward to seeing all of your applications and I'm excited. This is a new chapter we're going to start together. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. Hey, Quick cap, say, Saturday in the mall. Snow Julia.